my sophomore year, we got a new coach who had uh, just came in from the University of Michigan. His name was Gene Freed. It was through him that I started looking at hurdles, and it was through him that I actually became an elite competitor. I would go to a meet in the morning, uh, uh, an open meet in the morning, and then I'd go to another open meet in the evening. So two meets in one day, and I'd run two or three races in each one of these uh, events. So I, I got real tough real fast. And uh, so what he did for me uh, by doing that and by the, all the conversations we'd have between the meets was my coming to the uh, understanding of, one, that I was capable, and secondly, how important the, uh, the mental attitude of, of, of track and field really was. So we took off and uh, everybody blew by me. <laughs> so I'm in the back stretch and watching people go, Poof, you know, and I thought, okay, do I put the hammer down now or do I wait? And typically that was too soon for me to, to, to do that. And so I waited and uh, it was scary. It was scary to make that decision, but I had to rely on what I knew as, uh, as I got to the point where I normally did that, which is eh, about 200, 180 meters from the finish. Uh, then I started hauling them in, and uh, I was ahead by like seven or eight meters at the finish. Form wasn't very good, but <laughs> I was ahead. And so that was, my, my biggest memory is not of the finish, it's at the back stretch, and making that decision, do I or don't I, you know, do I, do I chase these guys now, or do I stay in, within my own knowledge of myself? And uh, obviously, having all that uh, time thinking about how you really run the race uh, paid off.